Hello everyone. Welcome to Shruti Swama World. Today we are going to discuss about sieves and the common standards of sieves. These are the two topics today we are going to discuss. Sieves are the simplest and sieving is the most frequently used method of size separation. Here you can see different types of sieves. The sieves are constructed using different types of materials such as wire cloth with square meshes woven from wire of brass, bronze, stainless steel. These are the materials which are used for the construction of the sieves. One thing is very important. There must be no reaction between the materials of the sieve and the substances to be sieved. Uh, these materials do not react with our substances to be size separator. Let's see what are the different types of sieves that is commonly used in our pharmaceutical industry. Woven wire sieves, bolting cloth sieves, closely spaced bars, punched plates. These are the commonly used sieves in our pharmaceutical industry. Here you can see woven wire sieves. This is bolting cloth sieve and here you can see punched plate sieve. Punched plate sieve is also known as perforated sieve. Woven wire sieves are commonly used as sieves. These are general purpose sieves. These are widely used in our pharmaceutical industry and pharmacy practice, of course. There are two types of woven wire sieves, plain weave sieve and twilled weave sieve. These metal wire sieves are used for fine sieving, for example, hand sieve. Bolting cloth sieves are used for the separation of fine powders, example, hammer screen. Bar screens are used to handle large and heavy materials. Next comes the punched plate sieves. This is also known as perforated screens. It is used for core sizing. The screens are prepared using a sheet metal of varying thickness with perforated holes. The holes may be round, oval, square or rectangular. These types of sieves are used in hammer mill. Generally, iron wire is used as screening material because it is cheap, it is readily available. But these materials have some drawbacks. Iron is having corrosive nature and chances of contamination by iron is very high. Brass, phosphorus, bronze and stainless steel. These are the other materials uh, we can use as screening material. And this material is having corrosive resistant property, good strength and non-contamination qualities. Non-metal such as nylon, terylene, these materials can also used to make sieves because these materials avoid risk of contamination. Now move on to the standards of sieves. You know what is this mesh? What is mesh number? Have you heard about this? Mesh means the holes which is present in the screen is known as mesh. Okay, this is a mesh. The holes which is present in the screen is known as mesh. Mesh number indicates the number of holes which is included in a length of one inch. Okay, is it clear? Mesh number indicates number of holes included in a length of one inch. Screen number means Number of meshes in a linear length of 25.4 millimeter. And next comes the nominal aperture size. Nominal aperture size means the gap between two adjacent wires. Okay, here you can see one wire and the other one is here. So the gap between these two adjacent wire that is known as nominal aperture size. Now let's see common standards of sieves. The first one is Taylor Standard Sieve Series. It is US standard sieve and they are available in mesh number 4 to 325. Next, US Standard Sieve Series. It is used in USA. British Standard Sieve Series. It is available in mesh number 5 to 300. It is extensively used in UK. US ASTM. ASTM means American Society of Testing Materials. It is available in mesh number 4 to 325. Next is German DIN. It is commonly used in Europe and Germany. FSS sieve series. It is French standard sieve 
and it is available in mesh number 17 to 38 ip standard cu series it is commonly used in india international test cu series iso it is used worldwide so these are the important common standards of cus available in this presentation we have studied cus and the common standards used for cus hope you understand thank you